Well, hello, people, and welcome back to Space Astronomy. So I've uh, I've decided to not be so crazy and just just upload these every single day. So you're not too far behind me now. We're maybe a week behind, but that means each episode needs to be shorter. It needs to be shorter, more rambling. More rambling because more rambling means less planning, as I always say. That's how that's how I get jobs done. The more you ramble, the more you ramble. I feel confused. The more you ramble, the less you actually have to work. So what are we up to today? Ooh, I, mm, I guess, ooh, I don't, I don't think, I keep watching back the videos as I'm editing. Remember we kind of talked about the rotating elevator? Well, this one, this is actually not the way we're facing. I think this is the way, yeah, see, so we're facing south here and now we're facing north. So it completely does a, one, a 180, which I like. I really like the rotating elevator. You can kind of. You can have exactly what I did. You could have an elevator where you come in one side, you go up, and you're looking out the other side, and you don't have that kind of... You come in one side, and you go out the other side, the exact same side. So with the elevator, if you were to jump up a floor, like if you were to walk up to a wall and then go jump, then you'd be up here looking at the wall, and you're like, oh, no, I want to... Okay. And you'd have to turn around each time. But with the rotating elevator, you can just go... And then you turn around. I love it. I love it. So what are we up to today? Uh, quests. We want to do some quests. Just to just to do them. You know, I've been neglecting them. Tree farm. I feel like there's no rush because I did a little bit of planning. We need lava. We need automated power gen. I think these three to-dos we're going to bang out real quick. Real, real quick. Uh, machines and equipment? Yeah, there we go. Lava power. Collect Two white wool, then craft the required parts after you go to the nether and place the pump near lava lake, then place one lava generator next to the pump and one of the ender tanks on top. Use the chunk loader to keep the lake and pump loaded. Not Note, you will need to kickstart the lava generator with a lava bucket. When you're back in the overworld, place down the ender tank to end a lava generator. Okay. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of tests. Oh yeah, see here's that corner wall. See how it's too flat? And I kind of tried to build it up and maybe the dirt, I'll bring the dirt out a little bit more. And I don't think you'll be able to notice it because it's like, this is our workshop. Over here is the mine chem room. Like if I were to punch a hole in that wall, that'd be the hallway. But I, th I think it looks okay, right? Okay. So I think I have everything that I need for everything that I need it. Ooh. Let's change our hat. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's go to the very end, actually. Wood hat. I like that one. With a boss skull, tree hat, top hat. TARDIS. Oh, it's huge. T-Rex, suspicious. Sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Look at me go. Handsome. Handsome monkey. Uh, so this should be everything that we need for everything that I need. Because we're going to go one step further. This is too much. Oh, man. Super full. Are you empty? I've been, uh, I built another one of the, because these are so cheap. Oh. Thank you. Put that in there. Pull it out. Because, I mean, really, like, a bit of, a bit of iron and tin. A bit of invar. A bit of lead. A leadstone energy cell, which is the cheapest energy cell in a belt. I mean, because in that way, I can go mining. Because, honestly, chopping down trees with our our charcoal making axe like one pass here i'll even show you because i kind of expanded the tree farm a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure if you've seen but here it is it goes all the way out to about yeah it goes all the way out to here and there's little uh there's little crafting tables along the way so i can compress down the charcoal but i just go through and by the time i get to like here i have like 40 percent life on my axe so i mean and it takes a while to charge up all the way. All right. So what are we doing, you might ask? It says make a lava generator. Okay. Uh, how many do we need to make? We need to make two lava generators. So I kind of know the recipe by heart. But just in case you don't know, I will... Because, I mean, they all, all these generators are basically the same. Yeah, see, basically... Oh. Let's make a bunch. I think I made that much cobble for a reason. Bam. Two of them. Done. Okay, and then we need two ender tanks. Perfect. Again, I think I have all the stuff I need. 
ender tank. We need two cauldrons though. And then ender tank. Wool, blaze rod, obsidian, ender pearl, bam. Two ender tanks. Done! Okay. Now we get a lava generator, transfer pipes, and speed upgrades. Beautiful. Honestly, ooh, automatic miner. We need to make a, ooh, I guess we could have just followed the quests. Automatic miner, craft the quarry from Buildcraft. This is the basic quarry that will get you on your way to collecting resources. That it is. So we get iron chest and a transfer node. Claim reward. Okay, we're getting full immediately. Let's uh, get rid of that iron chest because I know we don't need it right now. Did that do 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 more than it should have been? Okay, anything else open up? Access to the mining world? Well, let's just bang that one out right now. We did everything all out of order. Oh, man. Okay, travel to the mining dimension. Is that it? Completed? Firstly, craft 14 portal frames and create a 5x4 portal, then light the portal with a mining multi-tool. This is a good world for quarries. Actually, I've been thinking about it. It's not the best because we're starting at level 80 because what you want is good stuff. So if I cared more about resources than say power or time, because I do a lot of AFKing here, I would put the quarry down around this level. You know what I mean? Like place the marker here. That way you're kind of skipping all this garbage and copper and tin and just getting straight to the gold, the diamond and the what have you the silver so efficient mining i don't um the kind of the quarry's going i'd prefer not to kind of upset it can i reasonably make two of these right now because it wants four so no it wants me to make four ender markers oh and that gives me a speed upgrade Efficient mining craft the ender quarry. This quarry is very efficient. A very efficient way to get resources because it will replace the mine blocks with dirt. Yeah, unless you get world hold up world hole upgrade. And then it wants ooh, a whole bunch of stuff. You know what? Let's do this one too. Okay. So let's just head down. First of all, let's friggin' empty our friggin' inventory. Oh my goodness. Why'd it get so full so fast? Oh, I remember why. We were gonna do stuff. Okay. So let us go down here. And then get all the call. Let's get all the dirt. Can I shift? Manual submit? No, you're not gonna. Wait, how am I supposed to? Oh, you know what we could do? Mm, up. Okay, we need extra utilities. We need a item transfer node right here. Stupid dirt. I can actually throw the dirt on the ground and I'll suck it up from the floor below. So we need a quest delivery system. Quest delivery system. So we need four glass and four planks. We don't have enough glass. One, two, three, four. I think I have some cooking up still. Yeah. He's busy. So quest delivery system. We just want one. We would like one of these, please. Are you going to keep my quest book? No, you're not. Perfect. That's even better. All right, so get rid of some of this glass. Head downstairs. So what we want to do is bam. And we want to select the task. So bam, now it says you bound getting resources to this QDS. So that means if we put, let's go get a chest or something, uh, vanilla. You know, what? let's use that iron chest that I, I don't feel like I'm gonna ever need. Okay. And all the dirt in there. Okay. And I got the quest book and I got the transfer node. Perfect. So now I want it to go way faster than this though. Uh, extra utilities. Let's go stack and let's go speeds. More speeds. Now what it's going to do is it's going to drain out this chest. And it's going to, oh see the dirt's already full. Dang it. So it was a waste of dirt. That's okay. So, uh, now cobble, or let's do gravel. Okay, so what it wants is 250, so I throw one in, two. 
See, and it just, it does it itself. So you can just kind of, see, but now because this is acting as a garbage can now. So if I throw another gravel in there, it'll suck it up even though it doesn't need it. So be careful. Can I do that? No, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. And what was the final one? I wanted cobblestone, right? That was too much cobblestone. I did the exact same thing again. So it needs a whole bunch of cobblestone. Let's see if that was enough. Almost. Because cobblestone is garbage. We don't need it. There. And then we get a marker plus, two ender markers, or a reward bag. Honestly, I, I, I can't not get the reward bag, you know? Claim reward. So now this is done. There we go. There we go. There we go. So it, it does actually, you saw it, it, it kind of changes its status once the quest is fulfilled. So I could sit there and throw dirt in it till the cows come home and it'll just sit there sucking up the dirt and getting rid of it. So if you're to do a quest that says, uh, say if it wants one specific thing like 500,000 lava, that you could fire and forget. You know what I mean? Because the moment it gets enough lava, the quest will be completed, the QDS will turn off, and then it'll stop requesting, like it'll stop accepting lava, which is fine. So let's claim this reward bag, greater reward bag, go! Ooh, micro blocks, ooh, oh, so good. Greater reward bag, my eye. Okay, get that out of my life. Uh, okay. Ooh, actually, let's take this spot loader with us because it says it wants a loader. Okay. Now, ooh, what you see here. So it wants us to do all this stuff. So let's hold off on this. Let me let me reorient myself real quick. Ooh, what's a Vajra? Let's charge it up. Let's see what it does. You're not going to charge up? Oh. Is this gravitation suite? So it probably needs something else to charge it up. That sucks. What it wants us to do is do lava power. And I've been thinking about lava power. And I think we have a better version for lava power. Because I did some tests. Did a little bit of, a little bit of testing on a test world. But right off the bat... This pump, do I have it in my inventory? Of course I do. So the Buildcraft Factory pump is good. In fact, I've been using it. I've been using the Buildcraft Factory pump in conjunction with the Angel Block, and then a cell that I keep recharging, and then a tank. So then you just kind of use these four together, and you can suck up lava or oil or liquid XP. I've actually been carrying around with me. Whenever I get levels, instead of going all the way back to the enchanting area, you can just do this. So you throw a tank down, and I, I hope this is helpful to you. I know a lot of this stuff you guys are going to already know. There we go. A lot of this stuff is going to be stuff you know, but the thing is, a lot of the times when I watch a Let's Play, it's to see how somebody else has done something. You know, I like to see how other people do their tree farms, how other people do their farms, because then I'm like, oh, that's a more efficient way. Oh, I like that way. And then I implement it into my, you know, into my systems. So right off the bat, the endothermic pump is better than the buildcraft pump for the only reason, oops, for the only reason that this causes no lag or less lag. Now, the buildcraft, the buildcraft pump is good. I like it. It path finds in fact you know what let's even we'll, we'll go we'll even go test it out let's uh so we need these we'll even bring one of these to get it started and i think that's all we need for right now yes so let's head to the nether we can even come right out here because bam angel block and the way it breaks is it's immediate so you'll never lose it you know kind of wasted some lava there so we want a lava generator right there we want the pump where did I put you? The pump here. Okay. And then the ender tank up top. Okay. And then what it wants, what it said, was it wants it to us to kickstart it. 
So that's easy enough. We click, bam. And now it's now it's this lava generator is starting to produce power. In fact, it might actually even be getting more lava because the pump might even. No, the pump's going straight into the ender tank. Okay. Oh, it even has an internal reservoir. So this is okay. We're, we're going to let this go. But what the pump does is you can kind of see it. Oh, now it's full. So let us fix that by filling up this drum and then another drum. So how you can do that is placing it to the side. And the ender tank will actually export if you click this. So now it's exporting. It's trying to export its contents, right? So now that should work. And we're not seeing much change in the fluid, so let's hold on. Alright, so maybe it's making me a liar. Are you done yet? No, you're still super full. So the, what the pump does, it'll sit there and it it traces source blocks. So it, it'll eject a little little pipe that'll touch, once it touches lava, be it flowing or not, it'll then follow that flowing lava to the farthest away from it. It has a certain range. No, in fact... In here? No. Over here? The range is actually quite large. So this whole area, the lava pump will... Yeah, there we go. So currently the lava pump is... Yeah, see? And then, it, and then it'll start sucking up lava that's a little bit closer. See, there we go. It's doing a big circle around from itself. So that's okay. Uh, for, for things like under ground lava lakes in the overworld this is perfect because then you just need to find a bit of lava somewhere and then it'll kind of it'll trace its way up the lava flow like if you were to put the the pump down here you know if you were to put the pump right here the the pump would actually path find oh where's that coming from there you go so the lava the pump will actually trace the lava all the way back up to grab the source block and that's good in a way, but also it causes a little bit of lag, right? Because it's doing pathfinding a lot more. Second, it's creating flowing lava, which causes a little, uh, again, a little bit more lag. Second, you have to keep, so the pump's here, and it's sucking lava from, it was like over here somewhere, so it was like one, two, three, four. Yeah, that makes sense, that it'll, it, it would do it in this big of an area. That means you have to chunk load this whole area or the pump's not going to work. Okay. So right off the bat, that's why I don't like the pump. Okay, can I actually... Ooh. The second option is the endothermic pump and it's the better version. Can I... This is going to be full anyway. So what the endothermic pump does, in the same way the ender quarry does it, what am I doing? There we go. The same way the ender quarry does it, the endothermic pump keeps itself loaded. So right off the bat, this area is chunk loaded. Then the endothermic pump will keep this chunk loaded, load up this chunk, and then get all the lava here as well. Then it'll deload this chunk, then load this one. So at any given time, just like the quarry, the ender quarry, the endothermic pump is keeping two chunks loaded. And the whole time, it replaces the lava blocks with either stone or cobblestone. So you don't get the whole big flowing problem. So currently, and it's keeping itself charged up, which I like. So there we go. Is that right? Is that gonna okay? Just worried about the the tank trying to export lava. Oh, right, F9. There we go. So see, I'm keeping this chunk loaded. Actually, the quarry's keeping a three by three area loaded, which isn't the worst. Oh my god, why am I dying? I'm in trouble. What was that? Oh, burnt in lava now. Where's the portal? There we go. Actually, what you should always do is leave this uh, pump. There we go, so we can find it later. But we were I was teasing 
a better version of the lava. Hmm? Uh, of the lava generator. But you're going to have to tune in next time. Ta- oh, forgot how cool I looked. You're going to have I love the little turtle box backpack. You're going to have to turn in tune in next time when we find better lava generation. Because again, did the math. Uh where is it right here? Did the math. The lava generator per bucket or no, it's per eight buckets because that's what I tested with because I I was worried about warming up periods. This will make 320,000 RF per eight buckets at 40 RF per tick, which is good. I mean, free, free power, right? Lava. But I have something better, something way better. So tune in tomorrow when we figure it out. Here's a hint. Ender.io. Thank you for watching and you have yourself a nice day.